Fristam Pumps is a leading manufacturer of high-quality sanitary stainless steel pumps, blenders, and mixers. FS Shear Blender Seal Replacement. Before beginning, follow your company's lockout tagout procedure. Reference the FS Maintenance Manual online for additional safety precautions, tool sizes, torque values, and technical information. Tools required. Soft-faced hammer, 3 8 inch diameter rod, ratchet with 10 millimeter, 24 millimeter, 1 half inch and 1 inch sockets, food grade lubricant, denatured alcohol and soft cloth, torque wrench, O-ring pick. FS blenders do not require gapping if simply changing a seal. Removing the seal. To begin, remove the flange guard. Using a wrench and socket, remove the cover and discard the cover o-ring. Remove the acorn nuts and washers connecting the stator to the cover. Remove the stator from the cover by turning the bolts clockwise to free the stator from the cover. Be sure to back out the bolts. Remove and discard the stator O-rings. Remove the rotor by placing a 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole to lock the shaft. Use the socket with ratchet to remove the impeller nut. Discard the impeller nut gasket and remove the rod. Remove the rotor. Compress the seal driver and remove the rotor key. Remove the seal driver. Discard the rotating seal spring and save the seal driver. The seal driver is a non-wear part and is reused. Remove and discard the outer seal driver O-ring. Remove and discard the inner seal driver O-ring. Remove and discard the rotating seal and rotating seal O-ring. Remove the stationary seal by pushing from behind. Discard the stationary seal. For pumps with double seals, remove the flush seal and flush seal spring and discard. Everything but the seal driver is discarded. You are now ready to install the new seal. Installing the new seal. When replacing a seal, use all of the components of the new seal kit and discard all old seal components. Failure to use Fristam genuine parts will void the pump warranty and can result in seal failure. Parts of a Fristam seal kit. Rotor nut gasket. Stationary seal. Stationary seal O-ring. Rotating seal. Rotating seal O-ring. Single seal spring. Outer seal driver O-ring. Inner seal driver O-ring. Double seal only. Additional stationary seal O-ring. Flush seal. Flush seal O-ring. Flush seal spring. When handling seals, avoid touching the new seal faces as much as possible. Use denatured alcohol and a soft cloth to clean seal faces. The spring that has the white edge is the flush seal spring. Install the spring, ensuring that the spring sits entirely behind the shaft pins. Place the O-ring into the flush seal and lubricate. Push the seal onto the shaft, making sure the slots align with the pins. Install the stationary seal O-ring or O-rings onto the stationary seal and lubricate. Install the stationary seal into the housing, making sure to align the flats on the seal with the flats on the housing. Slide the inner seal driver O-ring onto the shaft and lubricate. Install the spring behind the seal pins inside the seal driver. 
Ensure the high points of the spring are not against the pins of the seal driver. Install the rotating seal O-ring and lubricate. Slide the seal driver onto the rotating seal, making sure to align the pins inside the driver with the slots on the seal. Manually compress the seal assembly to ensure pin and seal alignment. Slide the seal driver assembly onto the shaft. Compress the seal and install the rotor key and outer seal driver O-ring. Lubricate the O-ring. Slide the rotor onto the shaft, making sure to align the keyway in the rotor with the key in the shaft. Lubricate the rotor nut gasket and place it onto the rotor nut. The raised face of the gasket will go into the groove on the rotor nut. Thread the rotor nut onto the shaft. Place the 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole. Using a socket with a torque wrench, tighten the nut to the proper torque. Remove the rod. Install the inner and outer stator O-rings. Be sure the bolts have been backed out. Find the markings stamped on the stator and on the back of the cover. Install the stator onto the cover making sure to align the markings so they are face-to-face -face when assembled together. Tighten the stator nuts with a torque wrench. Install the cover O-ring. Install the cover stator assembly. Install the cover nuts and washers. And tighten with the torque wrench and socket. Rotate the shaft to check for rubbing. If any is detected, recheck your seal installation. Replace the flange guard. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service. Shaft change and gapping. To change the shaft, first remove the pump's cover stator assembly, rotor and seals as previously shown. On pumps with a double mechanical seal or water cascade option, Remove the seal water pipes with the pliers. Loosen the housing clamping bolt with two wrenches until it is loose in the flange support. Now, slide the pump housing off the end of the pump shaft. If the pump housing does not come out of the flange support easily, widen the flange support by driving a screwdriver into the slot on top. Place the pump housing face down on the housing studs. Loosen the shaft collar screw with the Allen wrench. Pull the pump shaft off the motor shaft. Installing the new shaft. Slide the shaft collar onto the motor shaft. Install the new shaft. Align the keyway in the motor shaft with a hole in the blender shaft. Align the slot of the clamping ring directly over the slot on the shaft, but do not tighten the shaft collar screw at this time. Carefully slide the pump housing over the pump shaft until the shoulder of the housing is against the flange support. If the pump housing does not slide into the flange support easily, widen the flange support by driving a screwdriver into the slot on top as previously shown. While securing the pump housing against the flange support, tighten the clamping bolt in the flange support. Install the seal driver only, as the whole seal is not required for gapping. Reassemble the rest of the pump head as previously shown, except for the cover and flange guard. You are now ready to set the rotor stator gap. If you have removed the pump shaft from the motor shaft for any reason, such as replacing the shaft or motor, you must reset the gap. Gapping. Disassemble the cover stator set as previously shown. Place a Fristam supplied gapping shim in between the stator and cover. Reassemble the cover stator set. Install the cover stator assembly onto the housing. 
install the cover nuts and tighten. With the shaft collar loose, push the shaft all the way forward until the rotor contacts the stator. Make sure the slot in the shaft is aligned with the slot in the shaft collar. Tighten the shaft collar screw to the proper torque. To ensure proper alignment, the shaft runout can be checked with the dial indicator. Remove the cover and disassemble the stator. Remove the gapping shim. Check that the pump is level. Reassemble the cover stator assembly and install as previously shown. Rotate the shaft to check for rubbing. If any is detected, recheck your gap. For double mechanical seals or water cascade option, install the seal water pipes by threading them into the housing and tighten with the pliers. Reinstall the flange guard. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service.